Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, not Y-O-U-R. This guy doesn't get it. He deserves a death penalty. She overuses the word like. I'm going to like it when she receives a death penalty. So I read on the internet that the earth is flat. Death penalty for all flat earthers. That's not how you hang a roll of toilet paper. We need to bring back the electric chair for you. You don't need to post a status update every five minutes. Would somebody please give this person the death penalty? Those damn fireworks going off again. Those people deserve the death penalty. You're late again. If you're going to waste people's time, you deserve the death penalty. That guy didn't use his turn signal. That jerk deserves the death penalty. Stare much? You won't be doing any staring after you receive the death penalty. Officer, this idiot took up two spaces. Is he eligible for the death penalty? People who use leaf blowers deserve the death penalty! <coughs> Hun, cover your mouth when you cough. Otherwise, it's death by firing squad for you. Don't leave the lights on when you leave the room. The state's going to need that electricity for when they give you the electric chair. Hello, Governor. My neighbor's teenage son keeps blurring his music all night long. Is it legal in this state to give a 16-year-old a death penalty? My roommate left the cap off the toothpaste. Is that a first offense? No, he's a repeat offender. Three strikes, you're out! Death penalty! If we descended from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? You can ask God after you receive the death penalty. When I speak out against the death penalty, people will say things like, what are we supposed to do with them then? <laughs> and I'm the weirdo for suggesting, well, something other than kill them. It's like humans, it's like our, our go-to solution for all problems is kill. So I thought it'd be funny to make a video where we poke fun at that idea of just vengeance, you know, and the death penalty. Imagine if we used it to solve every little problem. Diane, you used to support the death penalty, and now you don't. So what changed uh, in your mind? I just realized that we really don't have the right to take anybody else's life. Yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes for various reasons, we need to keep certain people away from others for their own safety and for the safety of others, but we don't need to punish them on top of that. Being taken away out of society for a period of time is punishment enough. We need to help these people. And besides being against the death penalty, we're also against things like solitary confinement. Absolutely. Let's be compassionate towards each other. Hate the sin, not the sinner. True. In Canada, the death penalty was abolished in 1976, and I hope the U.S. and all of the other countries of the world abolish the death penalty ASAP. Here we are in California. During the last election, it was on the ballot to get the death penalty eliminated, but not only did Californians vote to keep the death penalty, they voted to expedite it so they could kill people even quicker. Yes, I really can't understand that at all. This is supposed to be a progressive state, but I just don't understand the backwards thinking. And, of course, be vegan because we don't want to kill anyone. We have no right to take the life of someone who wants to live. That is always wrong, whether it's because you want to eat their flesh or because you want vengeance. And that's what the death penalty is. It's all about vengeance. Some people think the way to get tough on crime is build more prisons and lock more people up and more people should receive the death penalty. But actually, the way to get tough on crime is to work on prevention. Hurt people hurt people, so let's make a world where people aren't getting hurt. It's ridiculous that it costs so much money for shelter and for food. So we need to create a world where all of the basic necessities are free. We can do that if we all get along and work together. We can have free shelter for everyone, free food, free college education, and public transportation, free health care. So let's make all that a reality. And let's eliminate the war on drugs, which obviously is just modern day slavery. It's a way to lock people up and get free labor out of them. We need to decriminalize all drugs and have publicly funded health care so that people with substance abuse issues can get help, not get locked up. So in conclusion, let's all love each other and care about each other and help each other. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Peace.